This time on Sightseeing Spot Facts, we're taking a look at Christ the Redeemer. For the last 90 years, this giant statue of Jesus Christ has stood overlooking Brazil's vibrant city of Rio de Janeiro and has become one of the most recognizable and iconic symbols of Brazil, attracting millions of tourists each year. It stands upon a narrow rocky peak called Mount Corcovado, which has breathtaking panoramic views of the city and the stunning natural surroundings. At an elevation of 710 meters, the peak was well chosen as the ideal spot to place the statue, as it can be seen from all over the city. But why was such a statue built in the first place? The first proposal for a Christian monument came in the 1850s from a priest who wanted to honour the Princess of Brazil, who had abolished slavery there, but it never really got started. Then, after Brazil separated church and state and became a republic in 1899, the idea was well forgotten. But, as time passed in this new republic, there was a worry that Christian values were starting to erode. One way to prevent that would be to have a constant reminder that everyone could see. A few decades later, in 1921, the Catholic Church in Rio got their approval and a fundraising campaign started. In 1922, construction began, coinciding nicely with Brazil's recent independence from Portugal. One of the original designs had Christ clasping a cross in one hand and holding a globe in the other, but there was concerns that it would be seen as a balloon or a ball from a distance. So a Jesus with open arms was decided upon, and after nine years of challenging construction on a narrow rocky peak and the difficulty of transporting all the materials up to the summit, Christ the Redeemer was finally completed. It had cost $250,000 at the time, what would be $4.5 million today, mostly from the Catholic community. The style the statue was built in is called Art Deco, a style that had just started to flourish in the 1920s and 30s. The creation of Christ the Redeemer involved not just one person, but a team of engineers and sculptors who worked together to bring the statue into being. Brazilian engineer and designer Eitor de Silva Costa won the contract to construct the statue, and he collaborated with a number of individuals, including French engineer Albert Cacquot, who helped design and build the internal structure of the statue using his expertise in reinforced concrete. Additionally, French sculptor Paul Landowski was responsible for creating the head and hands of the statue, with the help of Romanian sculptor Gheorghe Leonida. Other Brazilian artists and architects also made significant contributions to the project, making it a truly collaborative effort. The statue is almost as wide as it is tall, measuring 30 meters from head to toe, with arms stretching 28 meters wide. It stands on an 8 meter high pedestal, bringing the total height to 38 meters. It weighs 635 tons, but would likely weigh a lot more if it were made out of solid stone. Instead, the interior has a reinforced concrete frame, a new material at that time, upon which a concrete shell was attached in pieces. And although the surface of the statue looks as if it's made from one piece of stone, when you get closer, you'll notice it's covered with a multitude of triangular tiles. The tiles are made of soapstone, a material used for its durability and ease of carving. Silva Costa got the idea to use the soapstones when he noticed them on a fountain while walking along France's most famous avenue, Champs-Élysées. It's said that before the tiles were cemented into place, some of the workers placed messages on the reverse side, so it may be full of hidden messages. Going into the future, 
One of the problems they're having when replacing tiles is finding the right shade of stone from the original quarry, which means that the statue is likely to change to a darker shade over time as the tiles are replaced. Christ the Redeemer may not be the tallest statue in the world, but standing atop a mountain more than makes up for it. And with high altitude comes two main dangers, high winds and lightning strikes. While there's not much that can be done about the wind, to protect it from lightning strikes, many lightning rods have been attached to the top of the arms and head. However, with several lightning strikes hitting the statue each year, it's not surprising that some of the severe bolts have caused damage in the form of cracked and scorched tiles. Visiting the statue once meant climbing 200 steps, but in the early 2000s an escalator was installed, much to the relief of visitors and even wedding parties at the nearby chapel, which was built a few years later. Lastly, in 2007, Christ the Redeemer joined the Great Wall of China, Chechen Itza, the Taj Mahal, Machu Picchu, the Colosseum and Petra on a list known as the New Seven Wonders of the World. If you'd like to learn more about any of those, just check out my other videos and thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more.